even if it's not night, it cannot always be night. What's that saying go? And who said that saying? And why is that in music? I need to know these things. Honestly, let's take a chill pill today. I here we are. We're back in the mukbang room. Thanks to everybody who voted yesterday under my McDonald's Monday. Yes, I'm still hobbling around and I have a cane, but I took a shower for the first time in a week. I'm very clean. I did my face, I shaved, I trimmed my hair, I'm wearing my clean merchandise. You can buy this, by the way, on my website. It's just waterweight.com. Now today, I have an affiliate link for you guys. So they're not paying me to promote this. It's just through Amazon. But people always ask me, Nick, I love when you have rice cakes. I don't know where to buy them. And I always use this, which is dry, which comes from Amazon. Let me tell you, as a professional mukbanger who's been eating rice cakes for five plus years on YouTube, when you go to the Oriental store, the Korean store, the Vietnamese shop, you go to the freezer section and you get rice cakes, they're always in the freezer section, unless you go, unless they're freshly made, because it basically it's just rice. It's just rice put together like Play-Doh. Um, they always crack, all the frozen ones, they crack, they fall apart, they disintegrate, they get all chopped up. I've never liked them. The best is fresh, but let's face it, most people can't get fresh little Korean lady to be chopping up, kneading them like dough, fresh on the market. So I recommend getting them from Amazon. I've been purchasing this brand, it's actually Japanese, for literally since I lived in Colombia. You guys probably know, I used to have a P.O. box where fans used to send me stuff. Don't do that anymore, I got too much weird stuff and I just felt really bad taking about a, a bunch of plastic crap that I don't need or want. Like I was like, ooh. Waste of money, y'all can just buy something from me. Like my merch, if you wanna support me. The P.O. Box thing got too much. Um, so, if you guys wanna try some rice cakes with me, now they are a little pricey. This whole thing is like $6 or something like that. Or seven. I think it's $7.99 actually. But it's the only thing I still use in my shows. So as you see me in my shows, I've been using this since 2016. I figured I might as well tell you where I buy it, which is on Amazon, and give myself a little affiliate link. So click the link in the description. Um, if I see this there, I'll link it too. And let's do this recipe. Click the link below to follow my Patreon. You'll get exclusive weekly videos about my life, plus tons of mukbangs not allowed on YouTube. Link below. My teeth, let's take this out. Ugh. Shout out to Invisalign, God. Ugh. I don't have, oh see, so much better. I can speak better, less of a lisp. I'm pretty much done with my program. I mean, I am done with my program. Uh, but those I just have to keep in so the teeth don't like start shifting back. So I'm gonna use some cheese. Um, I'm doing this with Orlin. So we're kind of getting along today. We decided let's be nice to each other. We literally looked at each other today and we said, can we be nice to each other today? Can we have a nice day? And Orlin's like, yeah, let's do it. So we're, we're nice to each other, unless something happens. Okay, let me show you how I make this. Chopstick, for four, four, or Orlin doesn't really do chopsticks. I make him do it for the first couple minutes, you know, so we get some good thumbnail options, but then he can have his fork. Okay. So you're gonna need a stove or a hot plate. Um, sometimes I put butter in here, but I'm not going to today. Oh, with the outer water. Oh no. Add some water. I'm just gonna eyeball this. Okay, okay, okay. 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 <laughs> if you guys don't like my little recipes, people love to just spend time with me. And uh, so people like these little recipes, even though I suck at cooking, I never know what I'm doing just because people like to spend time. They like to turn it on and listen and feel like they're in life with me. We are together in life. No cuts, no music, no edits. I was watching this person do this little tour throughout uh, downtown uh, financial district, New York City. And I'm like, I love this video. I ended up watching the whole thing. It was like 90 minutes. And I'm like, I should be sleeping. It was like two in the morning. I'm like, you know why I like this? Because there's no edits, there's no music, there's no jump cuts, there's no little flashing text. It looked like a home video, like I was living with them. You could hear their footsteps walking down New York City. It, it, I felt like I was in the moment with them. And uh, people give me grief, like Nick doesn't really edit. I can, 
Y'all know I can. You've seen my videos where I can edit. I'm a pro. I'm a very good editor when I want to be. Trust me. I'm a great editor. When I'm at Walmart on my scooter, uh, I bring it out here. Um, my hard tack grill, I put a lot of work into that, matching it to the music and the flow. People that have been following me for a long time know that I am a professional editor. So it's not that I can't do it or don't want to, it's that I feel like people, the majority of people, want to just live with me. Something just boom here. And that's why podcasts are so popular, because they just run the tape. Run the tape for two hours. It takes a whole different set of brain a skill set to be able to do stuff without editing. Some people need lots of edit, lots of post-production, lots of making me look perfect. Lady, I'll fart on camera and not even care. Uh -huh. So, for those of you that like long videos, this one's for you. And there's not going to be any obnoxious screaming, hopefully. I'm, me and Orlin are having a good day. Good day, good day. So it is just water weight. I know it looks like I've lost some water weight because I have. I lost 10 pounds since my surgery. When I get stressed, I don't eat. But I'm not really stressed today, so we're eating good. First things first. Take your Amazon rice cakes, which you can purchase through my link. Link down below. We're going to try this out. I've never had an Amazon affiliate. I kind of want to see how this goes. And what we're going to do is cook these first. Is this enough? Yeah, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Orlin. He better not be making his noodles right now because that, he, they'll be done before me. So we're doing this together except mine's gonna have cheese. His is cheese free. Let me start separating these. Hey Orlin. Okay, so literally, you just want to soften that rice. It's hard rice. You're just softening it. Now, technically, you want to keep it in there when you add... Don't make your, your noodles yet, because you'll be done way before me. What do you want, sir? Are you making them now? Put them in the water. I would wait. Okay. Just because this is going to take twice, three times as long because it's so slow. Okay, sir. Okay. Oh, you look so good. I shaved him today. And I shaved myself today. Oh, Orlin. Yes. Is. Yes, what's up? Um. Is this enough rice cakes? Let me look at the thumbnail we're trying to repeat. This one. How many would you say are here? More or less than this? More. More? Okay, give me another pack, please. Yeah. Another $7.99. Cha ching. Oh, my. I think Amazon affiliates gives you like 2% or 5% or 3%, so. Hey, Siri. What's 2% of 799? 2% times 799 is 15.98. Oh, I forgot to do 7.99. So move the decimal. So I get a dollar 50 cents if you purchase this. Wee, I'm rich. Oh my God. Let's face it, like 10 people will do this. But that's okay. I just, I'm testing the waters with this Amazon affiliate. I've never had affiliates. Hopefully I can make this work. Huh? Oh, really? Oh. Sure no oh yeah. More. Mm -hmm. That's good. Thank you. There's another one in the freezer. Nope, this is good. I don't even it's there's no English anywhere on this. <sighs> Cooking with Nikocado Avocado. Oh wait, do we need more cheese? Is this enough cheese? Orlin, can you also bring me mozzarella please? And I'll make him throw this out. So basically, you're just trying to soften these rice cakes. Soften this. Can you um, please bring me... Throw this out, and then on your way back in here, bring me some mozzarella. Do we have anything that you've shredded? I might, yeah. And if we don't, I then bring me more monster slices from the freezer. Because that's not enough cheese. <laughs> uh, so honestly, when you go to get rice cakes made the Korean way, they cook that thing for hours and they add rice cakes. Excuse me, that's a rice cake. They add fish cakes. They add gochujang, like um, pepper paste. They add fish cakes. They add an egg. They add 
onions and um, sprouts. They add all these things and it's a soup, basically. And they might put a slice of cheese on top and they serve it to you. How much do you want? Is that, oh wow. So it's all sharp, mozzarella? I sharpened this. Oh wow. Um, I'd say half that bag. I'm gonna put it in the microwave so it softens a little bit, please. Anyway, so that's the way you're supposed to make it, but I'm all about thumbnails and vis like visualizing. I don't want the rice cakes to get buried down below, and they will. So I'm trying to like redo this thumbnail. Oh wait, let's take off my night shift. I always have my night shift on for my eyes. I do wear blue light glasses, but um, see how they're like, um, the top one. Come on, scroll down. See that? That's what I'm trying to repeat. Spicy, cheesy rice cakes. So wait, they were not cooked, were they? they? I added them on top. I know I do that. I cook them first, set them to the side, add them on top. Yeah, that's what I do. That's what I do. Oh wait, but I think I give it a little uh, saffron, don't I? When I tell you I don't know how to cook, I mean it. I hate cooking, I'm already frustrated. <laughs> We're gonna add just a little dash of some saffron. Um, yeah, give it a little color. Give it a little color. It's all That's all saffron is, coloring. <gasps> Look at that. See, it looks delicious, and it's literally just plain old rice with powder. I'm telling you, you tricked the peasants. Mmm. Get nice and soft. They're prop probably done already yeah they're done so what I'm going to do is put them up to a side in a bowl which I don't have or <laughs> he's gonna come back all right so in the meantime let's at least open up our Orland's my assistant today I have to give him my teeth to go like clean if I can find this on Amazon I'll link it age cheddar yeah Okay, then, um, well, monster, I it? just want like two or three more slices of monster. What's wrong with cheddar? I want cheese pulls. Oh, cheddar doesn't pull? No. Also, honey, yeah. can, when you come back with your two more slices, can you also bring me a bowl to put this to a side in? Yeah, what kind of bowl? Like one of our ceramic white ones. And go put this to clean, please. He's like, I hate my life. Excuse me, you get 50% of my check. You should just say you're welcome. So while we're waiting for our bowl to set these to the side, and if that's the case, I'm gonna keep some water in there so they don't like get all, which means I'm gonna have to add a little, a little back because some's evaporating. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Okay. But yes, no edits, Vic. No edits. So these are the noodles. Mmm. Comes with a powder. This is a thickener, I believe. It's a uh, stir fried noodle. This is the powder sauce. And this is the sauce, liquid sauce. They all go together. That's all you need to know. Maybe a little bit clean, kind of like set these to the side. Excuse me. Don't you love seeing me all clean? Clean and cute and bubbly and fat. I was all stinky and dirty in that bed. I washed the sheets yesterday. Which I have to do kind of every two weeks. Well, I would love it for it to be every week, but that's a lot. And it's just too much. And these are white sheets. I like white sheets. At the end of a week, I, they start like not being as nice. But it usually comes out to, maybe not every two weeks, maybe every 10 or 12 days, a little bit less than two weeks. How often do I wash my white sheets? Uh, once well, every two weeks? Pretty much, yeah. Just a little bit. Oh, that's okay. Here. Oh, yeah, this is 
huh? We're so environmentally con conscientious. Put it on the plate, huh? So environmental. I put it on here? Uh, lay it on top here. With these. Okay. So, Orlin, separate each slice in individual bags. Well, I already used them, right? I, mean, I know, but like we do it because times like this, I'm, aren't you glad we did it? We always need cheese. We need, oh, we need it now. Oh, these rice cakes are gonna be so soft and chewy. Mm. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna let that get room temperature. I'm preparing, I'm prepared. Okay, throw this off me. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Is uh, four enough? Let's do five. Wait. Barely enough for one person. Huh? Barely enough for one person. Wait, 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 wait. For one person's family. I identify as family. Take that one, too. And you're gonna make a pack of four for you. Okay, right now? Um, not yet. Let me know. I'll let you know. Oh wait, how do I get the uh, or <laughs> Can you bring me a, la a ladle? Get them out of here somehow. All right, so I'm gonna pay, take, put these on the side. I'll be right back. By the way, I think I did my math wrong. At Amazon, uh, what you call it there? Look what Orlin did. I'm like, I need a new phone background. And Orlin's like, here you go, I, I, I got you. I got you, Nick, I got you. So that's my new phone background. Anyways, okay, if Amazon gives you 2% affiliate, or 4% or 5%, um, what's 4% of $7? I said it was one fifty. That's like that's like fifteen twenty percent if you think about it. There we go. There we go. I get twenty eight cents. Okay. Okay, people. So, <coughs> excuse me. Just allergies. Set these to the side. Keep a little liquid. Well, you're not gonna do this part. See, I'm very, I'm bad at recipes. You can literally Google how to make rice cakes, and it'll be better than this. This is just to keep the uh, well, some of the rice starch comes out, which is nice. But this is just to keep them like fluffy and chewy. Did I thank him for this ladle? Do you thank your husband for everything? Like, give me scissors. Hand me scissors. Do you say please for everything in your relationship? Can you please bring this to me? Can you please? I do. He does too. We're very polite to each other. Colombian has a very... Uh, Colombian is a polite culture. You know how people love to lump all Latinos together? Or like, lump all Asians together? I'm telling you, Cambodia, Cambodia and Malaysia are very different than Japan and Korea. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. They're not all Asians. are not one way. And all Latinos that one way. I mean, I lived in Belize, Mexico, you know, a bunch. Colombians were the politest. Politest and the cleanest. Very obsessively clean. It's a big thing in their culture. Cleanliness and politeness. I would not say that about uh, Belize. At all. <laughs> they are a little, a little messy people. And yet Colombians are equally as poor, so I don't want to hear, well, they didn't have, no. No, 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 no. All right, is this enough water for my soup? It's not, so we're gonna add a little bit more. That should be good. I eyeball it, you know what I mean? I eyeball this. That, that's good, I don't want to touch. And now we're gonna add our powder first, because I don't like soggy noodles. So we add our powder. Ooh, our thickener got actual really thick. It's like, come on, there we go. Wow. There, see that's what's, is that like really old? This is not old, I bought it like four months ago. Ramen should last years, right? Do 
you know Italians are very poor too? And they really have the most beautiful architecture. I was talking to Orlin about that. I'm like, have you realized like, nice things in life, nice beautiful carvings and paintings, nice buildings and sculptures. And if a place doesn't have any of that, and they're all living in huts with tin roofs, well, people say, well, it's just money. They don't have money, they're poor. But do you realize how poor people in Italy were back when they made all that stuff? How poor? Like, poor, 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 poor. And they made the most beautiful stuff. They loved to like create and make beauty. So there has to be something else to it. All right, now we're adding our spice too. We're gonna add, this is not that spicy, it's sweet. Well, it is spicy, but it's not su It's not like the Korean fire noodles that make me sweat and cry and scream, stomach ache. No, this is heavenly pleasantry. Pleasantries. One time I was talking to this guy who was very, very full of himself. I was doing business with him. And he was older, you know, like 50s or something. And he had a, he wanted to talk to me about something that was like, not good. Like we had to talk about something, a problem. And uh, when he gave me a call, he's like, talking about the weather and how are you? Oh, that's great to hear. How's your business? Oh, that's great. And then he went, well, now that we've got the pleasantries out of the way. Oh no, you about to become a monster with me? <laughs> and he did, in a way, yeah, he was. Oh, that's a whole story which I would love to tell you too that I just, I'm gonna take the high road. You know, not everything needs to be exposed. Um, I know where I went wrong a little bit, yeah, definitely. But at the end of the day, it was his business, so. And he wanted no responsibility at all. It was all my fault. And I'm like, wait a minute, sir. I came to you because you were selling a service. Let's remember here. You have lips and a voice. Something's not going well. Don't wait till how many months into it to tell me that you're unhappy with something or me or my team or it's like, okay. It was all my fault. All my fault. I'm like, you're 55. Maybe, well, yeah, 50s. He wasn't older than that. He actually could have been late 40s. Just, you know, he was bald. And so sometimes that can kind of throw you off a little bit. Okay, here's the soup. This is what thing, the, the noodles will be made in. See how it got really thick? Sometimes I add butter too, but we're not going to do that today. Oh, it smells so good. It smells Korean. Like, real good Korean. Oh, man. Ooh, that smells so good. So my cheese is starting to like... Oops, I don't want to break it. Oh, no. I have to be very careful. Frozen cheese. My little slices. Excuse me. Oh, it's bubbling. See how thick this is? <clears throat> now, if I do this Amazon affiliate link right, because I don't know what I'm doing. I just set up the account last night. I'm like, you know what? This whole time, I'm like recommending stuff to people, showing people, and they don't know where to buy it. I know I buy this on Amazon. I like Amazon. I might as well link it. What's so hard about that? And get, what, 28 cents per? <laughs> I don't know, say a thousand people do. Boom, I made, I made $20, $20, okay. So, um, assuming I do this correctly, <clears throat> and it works, they have to approve me and whatever, um, then I'm also gonna link other stuff that you see. 
like I, I know we got this from Amazon. Like chopsticks came from Amazon. This bowl. Don't buy anything else. I'll link it for you. <laughs> Just do the rice cakes if you want the rice cakes. And then I'll set up a little linkage page on my website, nickacadoavocado.com. Okay, so we are ready for the noodles. We are. Ooh. We love cheese. Da -da. We love don't do don't that. <gasps> I hate cooking. We love cheese. Da -da. We love cheese. Da -da. Yes, we do. We do. We love cheese, dun dun. We love cheese, dun dun. We love cheese, dun dun. Yes, we do, we do. I love cheese, boom boom. I love cheese, boom boom. We love cheese. Yes, we do. We do. I love cheese. I love cheese. I love cheese. Yes, we do. We do. I love cheese. Okay. All the water's gone, so we have to add a little bit more. Oh my goodness, that's... See, I didn't add enough water. Okay, okay. Kind of soaked it up. That's okay. That's good. Means the ramen's getting softer. So this one, we're going to flip over. Put that one down there. The squishiest one, we'll put right there. Oh, see how it's coming out? Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Okay, at this point, which I forgot, Orlid, can you bring me the lid? Yeah. So I'm just going to open up these ramens a little bit. Open them up. Come on, open up. Here we go. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Dress to it. Press, press, press. Thank you. Not yet, just put it here. Thank you. You can go ahead and make your noodles now. Okay. I'm at my last part, which still takes. The stove there goes really fast. Tasty and slow. Tasty and slow. That's what's going on here. Okay. These last ones I add on top. You'll see. Okay, so now we'll add the ones that were frozen. Put them here. Frozen. Oh no, it fell. I'm five second roll. Shh. I should have at least blown it. Oh well. This goes there. This goes there. Now we close it on up. And we're done. These cheeses will add on top again when we flip it. And since this wasn't frozen, it's already kind of warm. This will melt it and we'll get some cheese pulls. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And then the rice cakes go on top, which are still very hot, which is how we like it. I hate cooking, I'm already upset. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. You would think I know how to do this by now. Nope. Nope, I do not. Do not know how. I'll see you when it's time. <coughs> These are to go on top. The cheese goes on top. Those go out of the way. Orland's making his without cheese. I 
think we're good. I'll see ya when we're ready. This is done. I'm gonna show you right now. Here's the lid. Oops, take the lid, honey. Okay. Here's my ramen. Ooh. Can you guys see? Touch the noodles if you can. Can I? No. Ooh. Ooh, that looks so good. Yes, it really does. Ooh. Ooh. This looks really good. Look at this cheese. I'm gonna do the rice cakes last. First, I'm gonna do some cheese pulls for my thumbnail. So I'm just gonna like hold right here in the middle and just kinda just go, I love cheese. Dun dun. I love cheese. Dun dun. I love cheese. Look at my cheese. Ooh. Put these in the front. Nick, I you know, know that the body monster has a long time. We still don't even know how to do this. We'll never learn. Oh, shut up! Honestly, wait a minute. Let me put this on camera mode. Okay. Shine bright like a diamond. This is how you do Nikocado's famous cheesy rice cakes. <gasps> Ooh. Now, as you might have seen, I don't know. <gasps> Stop it. Look at this cheese pull. Oh, my God. You might have seen from my little... Thumbnail expose, but we added more cheese because there wasn't a cheese pull. And I didn't even have a cheese pull because I'm Nikocado. Nikocado likes cheese. So, we added more spice and there's more cheese inside of here. Ooh. So, rice cakes are sticky, they're gloopy. Mmm. They are the moment. They're so tasty. Here's the rice cakes. Now the rice cakes now has some um, cheese on it. Mmm. Spices. It's very spicy. It probably doesn't look that spicy, but trust me. This is spicy. Oh. Hear that? Chomp, chomp, chomp. Chomp, chomp, chomp. chomp. Mmm. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, man. 
It's so tasty. It doesn't even need butter. I used all five packs of spice too. Again, I might show you in this little clip. I don't know if I can make a little montage clip of this, but man. So we just have to wait for Orlin to join me. Don't forget to breathe how good this is. Click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below. Love you? I don't know. <clears throat> we're getting along in this video. No, we're not getting along. Along. I told them we were. What does it matter? You've been mean to me this whole time. Not the whole time, just the part about the cheese. I'm supposed to pretend I love you? Yeah, we're getting along in this video. Hi! I love my husband. <laughs> okay. Well, how's your food, sweetie? Good. Orland's gonna try his. Show what you got. I have noodles. Taboki noodles. Same as me. Just no cheese. No cheese. I identify as vegan. And apparently no raboki because you put it all on your side with cheese on it so I wouldn't be able to touch it. Huh? Nothing. The rice cakes. They're full of cheese now. It is, oh, I'm sorry. You're greedy. I forgot to ask if you wanted rice cakes. Of course you forgot to ask, sweetie. I was curious. Uh, we're getting along this video. You're so selfish. And I Orlin, work. this is a good video. <laughs> this is a good video. Well, you have to be a good person to get a good video out of me. Oh my god. I literally was just telling him we're getting along today. He's all pissed because of the cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Is it good? You don't have to be fake. Just to, is it good? It's good. Okay. That sounds like a fake. Mm. Can you give your guest a napkin, sir? Okay, I stop with the whole guest stuff. Just what do you want? A napkin. Then ask. Without the. Can you give your guest one? Orlin. Thank you. Uh, protect your shirt so you don't have to wear food around the house like I do. No? Oh, you want me to wear a bib like a man child? Okay. People wanted a nice video. It starts with you, sweetie. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm. These are so good. Yeah, they are. Mm. Choose all the spice, and I barely feel it. It's not that spicy. No. I remember this being much spicier. I use every single spice pack and all the powder. No. Oh, that's really good.
Ah! I love spicy, cheesy rice cakes. Can I have a napkin, please? Yes. Just keep these on your side. Thank you. Mmm. Mmm. I like how big these are. I got these packs of it. I know, and then I fell in love. Usually we get the Walmart ones. Walmart. Walmart, Walmart. <laughs> Don't forget to breathe. I forget to breathe sometimes. I can still breathe, okay? I can't. This is so good. Anyone want some? These are by Paldo, right? I love I love the noodles by from Paldo. If they have the sauce, the sauce packages, they're always good. I'm catching my breath. You'll catch it eventually. It's a thing recently. I see the past couple weeks, couple months, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Where like, if I wasn't eaters, if I was eating and breathing, I had to stop my breathing to eat. And you know, everyone can do that normally, but like, if I ever, you know. When I eat, I don't know why. It's one of those mysteries, huh? Mm. Mm. Oh, it is building up, though. Oh yeah? Yeah. Well, I have 10 slices of cheese on mine. <laughs> Are you handling the spice okay? Mm-hmm. You don't do these videos often enough, so I think you're losing your resistance to the spice. No. Ever since I got the beep beep beep. Hmm. Everything's changed. An announcement to make. Mm. I love how thick, thick these noodles are. Pretty thick. So I'm mean, a little bit thicker, but. Yeah. Click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below. You want an aspirin? No. Oh, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna gain air. I'm not, okay? gonna be, I'm not even being funny. Come on, let's go to the room. Excuse me. Are there other room? I feel tingles here. Think oh, okay, I gotta go get an aspirin.
What is happening? <sighs> Ever since the beep beep beep. I've, I've not been able to do this anymore. Don't judge. Are you supposed to have this when you have spicy? Why don't you go lay down? I'll go for a walk. It's like all oh, tingles. Alright. The constant. Let me bring you water. I blame the BB people. And don't say it's your diet. I've been doing this for five years. I got the beep beep beep, and I've never been the same. It's been six months. It's been six months. I've never been the same. I've never, never been the same in lots of different aspects. Overheating is a big one. I drink this. Why is my face taking? Is that a sign of. Uh, no? Probably. No, Google it right now. Smile. Google. Smile. Drink water. Drink water. Oxycute. <sighs> Why is there no oxygen in the air? Maybe you shouldn't be eating this anymore. <sighs> it's my favorite. You're almost 30. Let's stop now. Or like, I decided a long time ago I'm not doing that stupid little when I'm 30 I'm quitting my bunks. Not happening. People need to get you need to get over it. I'm not quitting at 30. I'm going until 45. You're not gonna make it that long. I don't think you'll make it 45 more days. I'm being serious though. I'm not joking. It's the beep beep beep. All right, it has to be. Thank you for the water. Mine, mine's vegan. If you want, you put some on here then. Are you full? No, just put a big scoop on here. I'm not putting my cheesy. What does vegan have to. Orlin, this is worse than the cheese, probably. <laughs> the vegan mind is an interesting mind. You didn't have any of these problems when we were vegan? You're perfectly healthy. No, I was not. I had to stop being vegan because that's so unhealthy. You know the Mamas and the Papas, that band that I keep listening to? No. One of the lead singers, she was 32, she died. Not from being fat, yeah. From a attack. A beep beep. She died from a beep beep. And they blamed it in her obituary. Oh, oh, beat obese. They, they, they told her right out there, they're like, she was two times too big for a woman of her size, of her height. Well, will yours be caused by water weight? Water weight. It's just water weight. Thirty-two. That's my age.
When are you gonna take your health seriously? I am. I'm singing. I'm singing away the diseases. I don't know why I like California dreaming because California gives me so much anxiety. <clears throat> it's not even just okay. <clears throat> I'm not even talking about like the way it's ran and the, not the, for me it's I don't like big cities and it pollution really gets me cut that in half I'm actually afraid of the environment too those fires imagine working your whole life for a house for it to get burnt to a crispy burnt a burnt crisp a crispy crisp your house gets burnt to a crisp <laughs> it's not even funny it doesn't matter how like rich you are like you can't I re what was it last year? It was a thousand and thousand oaks. All these like multi-million dollar houses burnt to a crisp. Nothing you can do. So it's not even just the way that it's ran and the, you know, the politics and the, the too many people and the smog and the price and the elitism and the, the attitude that comes. It's also the environment kind of freaks me out. <sighs> Well, the tingles are starting to go away. <laughs> nice. Keep doing what you're doing, sweetie. It's working. It's just water weight because I identify as skinny. Don't you love modern medicine? Everything has a quick, simple fix. No work involved. No work needed. Let's go vegan. Yeah. You just told me about that raw vegan that died last, like two days ago. She wasn't eating enough calories. Or she was, her organs were shutting down from not having nutrients. You have to eat enough calories, a minimum of 3,000 calories a day, ideally 4,000. And didn't I do that for like four, five years? And you were extra healthy. No, I wasn't. You could still see your pickle. <laughs> Yes, that's the measure of health. Can I see my pickle? Yes, if you cannot see your pickle, you are not healthy. What would you just say to someone who's born big boned and they can't see it? You are extreme. I like going with um, All right, genetics. less extreme approaches to life. All right, how may I you? <sighs> Mukbang America. Mukbang America. Got my McDonald's hairline you know, today. Even Trisha went vegan. Why can't you do the same? Who cares about her? I am McDonald's. What time it? Cause America, America, we like our cheese and our breakfast sausage. Dun, 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 dun. I like to eat all my favorite things. Cause in America, we don't give a ding, ding, ding. When the heart drops, and we like to eat. We skip around, cause we got big feet. Cause we think we have the best food in the world. Oh, I hate rhyming on the spot. I get put under pressure. What am I gonna do with the rest of this food? Eat it off camera. I'm still gonna get my breath. What do you do with all your food? You pretend like you don't finish your food, then you turn off the camera, and then you go ravenous and eat all of it. Actually, they would love to hear that because people think I waste all my food. You guys? No, he turns off the camera and eats all of it. That Subway on Sunday, Subway Sundays, disabled. I ate all every last crumb off camera. I finished all of that, and I ate half of it on camera anyway, mind you. I ate all the rest of those subs off camera. Did I? Tell them. Tell the Ashleys who think I'm throwing it away. He ate everything. Yeah. Left nothing. And the McDonald's yesterday ate all of it. I put it on my Instagram account. My Instagrammers, they saw it in my story. I put a bunch of cheese on top and I made cheese fries. Yep. I ate all of it. It shows, yeah. That's What's that fat phobia. You know that saying? That's fat phobia. 
discrimination. What you eat in private. Fatphobia. What you eat in private, you wear in public, sweetie. Fatphobia. It wasn't in private, it was for my Instagrammers. Oh, that's phobia. half of what you ate. That's half of what you ate. Fatphobia. I feel discriminated. Health at every size is what we say in this country. Health at every size. Diabetes at every size. No. That's the slogan to make us feel less stigmatized. I don't want to be stigmatized around weight because some people are born this way. Uh, I was born big boned and you're discriminating me. Fat phobia. And the doctors discriminate me too when they tell me that I'm not supposed to eat this way. I say discrimination, fat phobia. I hope doctor now is extra gentle with you. So it doesn't hurt your delicate feelings. Can't wait to meet him. Soon. Yeah, get that out. I'm not telling them about the doctor now. I'm not telling them about the show. What were you doing it's, before? They've been no. No, they don't. I haven't told them. What were you doing before I said Dr. Now? Were you eating? I was eating like... Okay, have it in your mouth so I can blur the two clips together. Come on. Ha. Huh. So. <sighs> I love glass items. I like the way they feel. I like the way they sound. You like breaking them? They feel, I don't break them very often. They just make you feel like life is good. I love glass. What's glass made out of? Sand, right? Sand and heat. Yes. Right? Yes. They, they heat up the sand and they blow it out into this. It's kind of amazing. Who discovered the, the glass? They've been doing this forever. Think about the old, you know, 1800s churches with the glass stained shit, uh, windows. Or did they not have glass in those old middle medieval? They did have, did they have glass in the medieval times? Mm. Wow, they were so smart. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Amazing that we created this. I believe they called it illuminations or something like that. They had the colored. Did they have glass in Latin America? Or were they when? brought? Like hundreds of years ago. I don't know. I think they had obsidian or something. But that's not glass. I have no idea. Do they they had a crystal skull somewhere, I think. But did they know? Did they make it? Did they make their own gla glass? I don't know. I need to research this. I'm very curious. You will, though. But, uh, I don't like that. I ate everything. I ate as much as I could, so I'm, I still survive. <laughs> I'm still hungry, that's a thing. Oh my God. I'm a little nervous to eat now. This is not fair. To be now afraid to eat. I'm afraid to eat. We have a fridge full of bananas. Yes, let's just pump some sugar and carbohydrates into me. Just take your insulin. If you guys were in my position, what would you do? How, how would you weight. eat? I'm speaking. If you guys were in my position, how would you lose weight? If you were like, okay, Nick, starting tomorrow, we're quitting my bongs. It's time to get our water weight under control, even though. Thank you. Even though it's genetic. How would you eat? What what, what would you eat? What uh, food items would you eat? I can guarantee most people will say, keto, do ketogenic. Keto? Most people will say ketogenic. It's already familiar. It tastes good. You don't have to put a bunch of sugar in your fatty blood. You stick to the fats. But it's not vegan. You know, no one cares if it's vegan or not, except for vegans who are doing a temporary, temporary thing. I identify as vegan. Then identify that way in your own corner. This is why the vegans don't like you. This is why people don't like vegans. Mr. You, you can't eat that. Says who? A vegan. No rationale with you. You can actually just change the subject if we're going to be this way.
Let's talk about how your diet's <coughs> contributing to, to the environment. Okay, Mr. Oh, these are vegan. How many tons of rainforest trees were chopped down and animals lost their homes so they could plow it down and burn it to the ground so they could grow soy, a monocrop, spray it with pesticides, also pollute the water? Less than the amount that was lost because of your slices of cheese. I can't reason with you. Have fun. Have fun reading your life. Orlin, we're supposed to have a nice video. No, you have to be a nice person to have I a nice have... video. Let's pull the audience. Has he not been grumpy this whole time? Because I react to how you treat me. I, what did I say? I was pretending to be nice the whole time. <laughs> pretending? Oh. Well, how, how else am I nice to you? I can't be nice to you. You're not nice no, to no, me. No, no, no. How about you answer my question? What did I do in this video that was mean? You're berating me about the cheese. Berating you? Yes. Hey Siri, what's the definition of berate? I'm gonna show your face. Okay, I found this on the web for what's the definition of break your face. Check it out. To weave together strips or strands. Oh, that's braid. Oh, you know, use a different word. You're not very smart. I am, I just don't know that word. Berate. No, I, I know what it kind of can mean or imply. I want the real definition so I can see if yours just stretching, stretching the truth. How about you look up the definition of heart disease? How about you look the definition of get out of my room? Fine. Bye-bye. You are not loved in this house. Alexa, turn on anger. One of our lamps is called Anger. We used to have a lamp called Nikki Picky, but I told him I'm not approving a lamp called Nikki Picky anymore. Yeah. That was the lamp in the computer room, Nikki Picky. Now it's now it has no name because I just I disabled Alexa from that one. Anyways, something happened in this video which I'm not very proud of. I'm actually not. And I know people are gonna, like, people are going to speculate and make videos and, oh, nigga kind of almost dies on camera. Whoa. I know it's coming. I don't know what that was about, to be honest. I know everyone's gonna say it's your diet. I say it's the BBB. That's my opinion, you know, because I haven't had this type of issue but ever before in my entire life. Except for one time, back three or four years ago, uh, y'all know I had a little mini attack. Um, which was very scary. And to this day, I still can't, I've lost feeling in this arm. Um, to this day, I don't like to talk about it in my videos. I don't like to bring it up, but it's true. Um, I love how I was like, today we're gonna have a nice, calm, relaxing video, chit chat, well, boom. <sighs> Look what happened. Um, but yeah, this, this is me. This is my life. Um, he was kind of mean. He was kind of mean. For no reason. I mean, yeah, I, I kind of... Well, I'm going to edit that part out, but I was a little mean to him about the cheese. I'm like, why haven't we learned how to do this? We have to make it perfect. We have to have nice cheese pulls. The subscribers want the cheese pulls. We're not giving the subscribers what they want. And I got mad because we've been doing cheese pulls for five years, and we still don't know how to do a good cheese pull. Like, it's like, what? Oh... Uh, so then he got mad because he doesn't like when I talk like that. Because it's like, I say it in a way that puts all blame onto him. That's the way I formulate that commentary. And so yeah, that's my fault. And then so what do I get in return? I get pissy Orlin for the whole video. And it's weird because it's like, he knows as well that like, 
people love to see us bicker, so he's like extra bickery because he knows that that's also what the people want. So it's like license for him to be mean to me and kind of ruin my happiness because we get rewarded at the end of it anyway because people enjoy seeing us fight like cats and dogs. So um, imagine living with someone that you're you're not getting along with, but then the more you get you don't get along with them, the more clicks you get. It's a very bad position to be in. Okay, for a week or two, whatever. Deal with it. Laugh to the bank. But then after that, it's like, wait a minute. This is my life now. This has... This is her life. And I literally just had a scary moment on camera. I'm not going to draw attention to this. I'm not going to put it in the title like almost... It's like, uh, on camera or whatever. I'm literally just going to call this cheesy rice cakes with Orlin and make it just like a normal video. So I'm not trying to get extra attention for this. If you happen to watch this video and you saw what went down, then you saw what went down. Okay. Um, but I'm not looking for sympathy. So I'm not going to even address it in the description or anywhere. You can look. I won't. I won't write it. What I will have is... My affiliate links. Oh no, this is a really bad way to roll out with affiliates. Please eat this stuff that almost killed me. <laughs> oh no, I'm, I'm affiliating the wrong product. <coughs> I'm fine, I swear. I did not think, I didn't, who knows, no one knows what that's gonna add. Oh man. I'm just a hot mess. <laughs> that is good. I mean, Orlin ate it, no problem. <laughs> and I, it's just, it must be one of those days. Maybe I'm, I'm going to go, I'm, you know what? I'm going to go eat some vegetables right now to help thin out my blood. Um, fiber from greens is a great regulator for fats and sugars, both. But of course you get the little benefits of like this and that and so it's a good way to kind of dilute the amount of oils in your blood, the amount of sugars in your blood. Greens are a great diluter. They're a natural diluter. Regulator. And this is what I know to be true. So I'm just sharing my life. But, uh... Thanks for watching. I can't believe this happened. I can't believe this happened. I can't believe this happened. What if my time is up? Hi, it's me. I'd like to thank all my patrons for supporting this video and an even bigger thank you to my executive producers, Jamie Baby Cotto, Princess Abby, and C. Butter. If you'd like to support my channel a little bit extra, or if you just want to see the real unfiltered side of these videos, click the link in the description box and consider joining all of us over on Patreon. You'll get to see weekly videos and a much more candid side of me. Oh, and by the way, you have to be a grown-up to follow. Patreon's really for my closest followers only and new openings become available 
available on a first come first serve basis. So if you see an opening, hurry up. And if you want to hear from me personally, get yourself a video directly from me on Cameo, where I can surprise you with a video straight to your phone or your computer. You can also hire me to tell off your friend. If you want more, check out my merch store and get yourself a Waterweight t-shirt. Patreon, Cameo, and merch are all linked in the description box. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.